The USDA recently increased the amount of money SNAP recipients will receive. It's something food banks in the area say is needed. However, the ones I talk to say their services will still be frequently used. If you're a recipient of the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, or SNAP, you can expect an increase come October. Reevaluated the Thrifty Meal Plan, and the Thrifty Meal Plan is what they base how much SNAP benefit each individual gets on. That plan hadn't been updated since 1975. The new formula looks at how much it costs recipients to buy food that's healthy. It's designed to make a healthy diet accessible to people who don't know where that next meal is coming from and utilize SNAP benefits to supplement what their household is able to afford on their income, whatever that may be. The increase will end up being around an extra $36 a month. However, this increase will come at a time when many other pandemic benefits end. That's going to happen at the same time on October 1st as the 15% across the board increase to SNAP benefits that was COVID response will end. Those who work with food insecure individuals say this is a step in the right direction, but that there is still work to be done. And I can't be anything but happy about it. However, I do think that more needs to be done if we want to lift people out of poverty. And with a lot of the stimulus money that happened over the um, course of the last year, people are beginning to see that. They're beginning to see that um, that we have been giving too little According to recent data from the state, there are 624,959 people in Indiana who currently receive SNAP benefits. Bunder says 40% of the clients they serve don't qualify for SNAP benefits at all. To find out if you qualify for SNAP, call 211.